Last time on Read Only Memories. What the? Hmm? What? <gasps> what? Oh my god, I have goosebumps. What the? F what the fuck? And so it continues. I hope some pity for me still remains, considering my recent tone, because I'm honestly not sure where we should start. Damn, this music's slick. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to somebody who can answer our questions. Yeah, for real. Do you know anything about TMI Entertainment? Honestly, you do have your own mesh access, yes? <laughs> certain you can handle all the casual searches you might feel like making. Hey, I'm sorry. We hardly have time for me to blather out every bit of exposition you desire when you could just go look it up on your own. I'm sorry. You just do a good job of making it concise. So now you decide to shut up. I'm sorry, Turing. I'm sorry. <sighs> no, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit on edge. It's okay. Things are barreling out of our control, and I'm taking it out on you. It's okay, Turner. Forgive me. Let oh, me pull you're up fine. the information you requested. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, what can you tell me about TMI Entertainment? TMI Entertainment is a relatively popular celebrity and gossip news conglomerate. They own OK Today. Oh, I see. Okay. They did a good job transitioning from the traditional media models of television and news to the net-based model prevalent now. Pioneered by their digital newspaper, OK Today's The Scanline. Yeah, I read that in, like, the first episode. <laughs> Some might call their program rags, but opinion on the mesh seems more favorable than not. Okay. They stick to mostly good-natured crying and lean away from the seedier nastiness that paparazzi can get up to. Respect. As such, they have a positive relationship with many celebrities and regularly get exclusive scoops that keep their ratings up, despite their refusal to peddle in the darker side of the celebrity news circuit. Well, that's nice. So, what do you know about Charlie Nova? Charlie Nova is TMI Entertainment's most popular TV personality. He's gotten consistently high ratings for almost a decade and isn't afraid to tell you about it. Okay. The chatter on the mesh paints him as a bit arrogant, but in that loud, back-slapping kind of way that a media star can get away with. He's best known for hosting Star in the Stratosphere. It's one of those talent-seeking reality programs. Apparently, when TMI can't organically discover enough celebrities, they just manufacture them. Oh, and also, according to this vlog, Charlie's hair is flawless. <laughs> that is the most important <laughs> information. Got it. All right, well, let's uh, obviously look at the floor plan. The plant in the corner is supported by a few stakes uh, that are stuck in the middle of the planter. Okay, can I touch it? I can't take it! It's too young to go through that much change. That's funny. This plant is clearly young. You should encourage it. Well, duh. It's a table. A small industrial end table. Good color. There's some doors here. The glass door offers a clear view of the OK Today set and the production floor. Oh god. Um, excuse me? What the fuck? Whoa. Uh, okay. You can't open it with your hands, so you try commanding it open. The logo for TMI Entertainment. Basic, but sleek. Too cheap to steal, too expensive to replace. The sign is full of itself, and won't not talk to you unless you're a celebrity. <laughs> That's funny. A short, scruffy plant sits squarely to the side of the desk. The plant dodges your touch. Word about you is spreading. Oh! <laughs> that is hilarious. Listen to your body. Talk to plants. Ignore people. Okay, fine. We'll talk to the- Oh, hey, it's the buzzer. The door buzzer teases you by being just out of reach and by carrying the threats of security with it. <laughs> 
It's not yours to press, but the urge is powerful. You get the feeling it would just cut you off with an annoying buzz. Okay, fine. We'll talk to the receptionist. A hybrid receptionist bobs on her heels. She's either had a long day standing or is just fidgety. Can I touch her? I know you're used to computers being your only co-workers, but with humans, you only have to speak to them if you want to do something. Okay, fine. Welcome to TMI Entertainment Incorporated. Do so, you have an appointment? I don't. No, but we need to talk to whomever is in- whom- whomever? What did I just say? Whomever is in charge here. We need to speak with Charlie Nova. I have a story about uh, we're about to break and want to offer TMI an opportunity to com comment. No, no, but we need to talk to. Um, I really can't let you in without an appointment. Lady? I can maybe pencil you in for next Wednesday? <laughs> That's so, she's so cute. We don't have time for this. People's lives are on the line here, and all you care about is an appointment? She's a receptionist, lady. Calm down, turning. Uh, yeah, they're right. Just calm down. Calm oh, your titties. Um, look, if it's that important, I can buzz you through to sympathy. Who? But she isn't going to be very happy about being bothered off schedule, so don't get your hopes up. Okay. And, uh, try not to make her too mad. I'll be the one dealing with the fallout. Oh. Right. Of course. I apologize. We will be as tactful as possible, I assure you. Okay, turn up. Okay, she's over on the other side of the room. Head straight there, because she doesn't like it when people bother the town. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god, what is that thing? An 8-O-N-L news rom putters speedily across the production floor, frantically looking for the next big scoop. <laughs> Don't pick it up while it's working. The news rom doesn't care to take a comment from an unaffiliated freelancer. Oh, okay. Hey, look, it's an assistant. A film assistant of some kind taking a break. Can I talk to you? What's up? Have you been tuning into the show? Newsroom employee. It's TMI's lead, uh, cin cin cinematic goth for goth for goddamn. <laughs> Why can I not speak? <laughs> I cannot speak today. <laughs> oh, at least he seemed like one. He looks pretty cool. Hey, you, over here, now. Whoa. What are you doing bothering my people? I'm sorry. I thought I told Nina to cancel all my appointments for the day. So? I swear that girl couldn't find her ears if I taped them over her eyes. At least she makes a decent cup of coffee. <clears throat> are you sympathy? Nina said we should speak to you. Yes, I am. And if you don't mind, I keep the show running here, so I'll be brief. What are you doing in my building? Up. We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your personalities, Charlie Nova. Someone has been manipulating his articles on the MeshNet and turning them into scathing attacks against the human revolution. We are trying to track the culprit, and we need to talk to Mr. Nova to hunt down further leads. You let your ROM do all the talking for you? Must be one of those new interrogation modules all the fresh meat rave about. Sure. <laughs> of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. I'm tracking them down myself. What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop out from underneath me. Super hacker twists MeshNet news for personal political vendetta? The clicks basically farm themselves. We're willing to trade info with you. I'm willing to break the story under TMI's banner. Say that to Zinn. We're willing to trade info with you. 
Not interested. I already have a pretty decent idea of where to look next. And if that doesn't pan out, I have our primary server cluster chewing through mesh posts looking for inconsistencies. Aw, oh, shit. I'll figure this one out on my own. Without some newbie mucking things up. No! You know what? Fine. Say that to Zin. Zin? Augmented eyes, Zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She dead. She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Then, someone threw her out of her office window. Yeah. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get to him first. Holy shit. Holy shit is right. Fine. I'll let you talk to Charlie. Yes! <laughs> if someone is trying to kill people over this, I'd rather it be out and done with as fast as possible. Hell yeah. I mean, shit. We're in entertainment scene. Nobody should die for that. But hey, watch yourself with Charlie. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. <laughs> Keep it civil, or I'll throw your ass out and figure this out on my own. Alright. Now get on it. I need to make some calls. I assume this is Charlie? Yeah, it is. <laughs> What's up? He's practically glowing and has people waiting on him on hand on foot. Definitely the talent Charlie Nova. Can I touch him? Oh, fine. You can touch my hair at once. Oh, God. All right, let's talk to him. That was nice. <laughs> fantastic. How fantastic. I just love your ROM. Hey, what's up? Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Hey, turn up awesome. Fuck you. Very sleek, very clean. Bravo. Thanks. Oh, uh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to brass tacks then, I suppose. Wait! I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars and Star in the Stratosphere. <laughs> oh my god, he does have fabulous hair though. But you already knew that, I'm sure. Oh yeah. What can I do for you, hmm? Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. <laughs> I can't imagine you've come all this way just to get my story. Have you? I have. After all, I've already published my very own splendid 100% original autobiography. Oh, like shit. Like a Nova. Like a Nova. What a title. But I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stink eye. <laughs> I grew up here on the mean streets of Neo SF, but my jocular nature and striking countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. Awesome. And the rest is not so ancient history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happier. Great. It's all thanks to my swarms of fans, though. They're the ones who count. Wow, he really is just... Okay, what can you tell me about TMI? Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> well, it's the best damn network on the planet, I can tell you that. Oh, snap. We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about sympathy. What the heck is going on in the background? Do you guys see this? Like, what? What is that? <laughs> it's her pride and joy, after all. Okay. Sure, she can be a little acerbic, and sure, she calls me a poofy-haired oaf all the time, but you can really tell she cares, you know? Mm-hmm. Deep down. Deep down. Hmm, I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move to another topic or a threat against my physical well-being. <laughs> so, let's move on. Okay. What next? 
Have you heard that your stories are getting altered once they get posted to the mesh? Oh, it may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but Sympathy assured me that it was some kind of technical glitch, and our support people were on top of it. Uh-huh. They're top-notch. The absolute best money can buy. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. Oh, snap. We've heard of other people's posts getting altered, too. You're telling me you don't know anything at all? Look, Charles. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this. That's very upsetting. Yep. I hope you've passed along that information to sympathy. Hell yeah, we did. I'm certain our tech people will be able to find the culprit in short order once they know enough about it. Man, this guy's ignorant as fuck. I really don't know what I have to do with it, though. You might be dead soon, Chuck. <laughs> I like how we're calling him Chuck Charles. <laughs> I'm sure you're better informed than that, right? You're at the top of this heap, yeah? It's a bit worrying that you don't know more. It was your posts they were manipulating. It's a bit worrying that you don't know more. Need to know and all that. I keep on top of the things that need my attention and leave sympathy to handle all the things that don't. Okay. My time is too important to be wasted on trivial things like minor technical glitches. Mm-hmm. All right, that's enough. He honestly Charlie doesn't has know. a show to get ready for. He's told you everything he's going to. Wow, okay. So get the hell out of here. So, yeah. If you find anything more interesting than what you've got, come back and see me again. So they really aren't letting Charlie know. Directly. Okay. Remember, I'm the victim in all this. Fuck. We got kicked out. Oh, man. She looks really cheesed off now. Uh, do you know how snippy she can get? Uh, I can I tell. get her coffee ready. Maybe that'll calm her down. Okay. We're very sorry if we made your day more difficult. Perhaps I could take the coffee over to Sympathy and we could try to smooth her rumpled feathers. Um, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> what's the okay. worst that can happen? You make her even matter? Oh no. On second thought, it'll only take a minute. Yeah, come on. All right, but she takes it with plenty of milk. Okay. Oh my god, can I use spoiled milk on her? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tempted. Oh, I'm so tempted. Oh my god, I'm so tempted to. Oh, okay, uh, I'm doing it. Oh no, I did it! Okay, let's deliver this and make amends. Oh no, I did it! I did it! Oh no! <laughs> I thought I told you to beat it. Whether your ears just not work. <laughs> Jeez. We just wanted to bring you some coffee and make sure there are no hard feelings. Ha. Ah, that's cute. I promise I don't bite. I just have a job to do. Uh oh. Sometimes I think Charlie's hair gel seeps into his brain. But he brings in most of our revenue, so his happiness is our top priority. Uh oh. Ugh, oh, my stomach is killing me. Maybe those egg rolls I had earlier. Uh oh. I'm heading to the can, and you're heading to the street. Uh oh. Uh oh. We just gave her. <laughs> oh my god, who knew? Who knew that the spoiled milk would make a comeback? Alright, Charlie, we're gonna get to the bottom Did of this. Did you want a signed photo? No. Okay, here we go. You're telling me you don't know anything at all. Look. Charles. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> it's Charlie. It's Charles. Okay, Chuck. And honestly, I'd absolutely love to help you out. Okay. Really, I just don't have the information you're looking for. Chuck, I'm sure you're getting informed in that, right? You're at the top of this heap, yeah? <laughs> it's Charlie. And of course, I'm the leading man around here. Who has said otherwise? I mean, 
Sympathy I'm not got you on a fucking what you think it is that leash. I don't know, but I assure you that I know what it is. Sure. You won't be able to trip me up that easily. If they can access your stories, what else can they get on you? We're just worried for your safety. Someone has already ended up in the hospital over this chip. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yes, please. I'm just gonna do it. It's Charlie. <laughs> and Sympathy never mentioned that. But still, she said the tech guys are on top of it. And I'm gonna have to go with her on this. Okay. I'm not scared of some boogeyman. This isn't the first time I've dealt with something like this. Oh, really now? Security has to throw out obsessed fans all the time. I'm made of sterner stuff than you think. Why can't we work together? Zin was thrown out of her office window over this. Bury your head in the sand if you want. This isn't going to go away. You know what? We're gonna- we're gonna fucking... Look at the reality of the situation. Chip. It's- Charlie, damn it! <laughs> and wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Someone murdered Zen. What on earth? Yup. I. Okay. I'll tell you what I know. There we go. Good job, Chip. I didn't Chip. realize how serious this had gotten. How but I'm always glad to play the hero. Yeah. Uh. Unfortunately, I really only have conjecture to offer you. Of course. Trust me, I'd love to lay down some earth-shattering pronouncement and dazzle you with my investigative skills. But all I've got is flimsy threads at best. Damn. The thing is, all this stuff with my stories... You're just a personality, aren't you? Stuff getting changed, making me look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever. It started after I had an upgrade made to my VR uplink hardware. Oh, shit. Oh, what kind of upgrade? The technically legal kind. Okay. Look, I like to have a good time at a party, right? But sympathy keeps hammering on me for pounding back too much crash and whatnot. Oh, God. Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like shit on camera the next day. <laughs> so I went to this guy I know. Good guy. Everyone uses him. He's called Nanya. Oh, okay. He does great work. After just one simple back alley brain surgery, bing, bang, boom. Back alley brain surgery. Of course. I can use an app to make my VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that the stims do. Without all the nasty physical side effects. Oh, God. It could be a coincidence, though. The tech guys didn't find anything wrong with my uplink, and they say the modifications check out. But that Nanya guy does a lot of work for media people around here. So if a bunch of posts are getting changed, maybe that's your weak link. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Pretty flimsy, but I'll send you the address and you can go talk to him. All right. Nanya's added to the city map. Okay. If he'll even see you, that is. Thanks for the help. Oh, it was no problem. No problem at all. All right. See you later, Chuck. I'm quite happy to assist in any way I can. Just make sure you source me in your article, right? <laughs> god damn it. Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. Oh my god. I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Give it the old Charlie Nova bump. <laughs> oh my god, he won't stop talking. Anyhow, <laughs> I really have to get back to work. Okay. 
All right, see you later, Charles. You wouldn't believe how long it takes to put all this together before a show. Oh my god, he won't stop talking. Let me know how it goes with the murderous hacker thing. My oh. mom will call your ROM. Okay. Okay, finally. Whew, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and go. Nanya's.